Today's episode is filled with purpose. Actually, the huge link between purpose and leadership. And instead of me interviewing somebody here on Christy TV, I actually had the honor to be interviewed by Joyce Weiss. She's a master coach, she's a speaker, she's a dear friend of mine. So I was extremely excited to talk about something I'm so passionate about, which is purpose and leadership. So listen to this lively interview and you'll see me go into why purpose is the number one key to success, both as a leader and if you want success in your business. If you want more leadership tips like this in your life, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right now so you don't miss a thing. Welcome to Adventures in Leadership on Christy TV. This is where high achievers go for the tools, confidence, and motivation to become a successful leader. Let's do this. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Kick Conflict to the Curb, the place where people come to learn how to transform their conflict from stress and drama to peace and feeling good about themselves. Well, today I'm beyond excited because I invited a guest who I met a few years ago at the National Speakers Association. And why I decided to invite this particular guest is that here we are all peers. We didn't know each other. We were on a team. And there was a speaker who was talking about the new ways of being on LinkedIn. Nobody at the table knew what they were doing. It was so confusing. Well, our speaker was just like us. She didn't know. She stood up. She became the leader and she helped everybody. And that's when I said, this is somebody who I want to know. So I would like to give you the formal introduction. What do you get when you mix one part energetic problem solver with a generous portion of leadership expertise and a sprinkle of a marathon runner? You get Christy Stocker, an award-winning speaker, success coach, and leadership consultant who will reveal how we become the leaders we're meant to be. Christy is CEO of Kinetic Edge, a leadership company that works with organizations to transform their emerging professionals into high-performing leaders for a profitable advantage. Christy comes with 20 years of past experience in corporate communications for a multi-million dollar corporation and has been coaching driven professionals since 2002 to advance their self-leadership skills to unbelievable levels. Her clients like, just be prepared to hear, Bosch, Lockheed Martin Leadership Association, Institute of Management Accountants, and National Management Association. Know that Christy is the expert in helping them become excuse-breaking, fear-crushing, goal-exceeding leaders. When she's not mentoring high achievers to be rock star leaders or hosting her leadership show, Christy TV on YouTube, she's helping clients connect with their powerful purpose. Here's a fun fact about Christy, which I sure didn't know. She professionally handles and trains show dogs. We're going to have to get into that. So welcome, Christy Stacker. Hey, Joyce. I am so excited to be here. And if it's on your show, I know it's going to be good. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that. Well, I'll make sure that that it is then. So the word purpose is thrown around all the time. It seems a bit woo. Is it really that important to weave into the business world? Oh, absolutely. I know a lot of people out there, you know, when they talk about the business world and leadership, they talk about KPIs and ROIs and stats and figures and finances. And there's, yeah, all of those things are extremely important. But if you really want to get down to the foundation of it, you really need to know what is the purpose of the company? What's the purpose of the team? So I'm sure if a lot of you are out there, you're sitting in a meeting and you're listening to different things going on, You should always go back to saying, what is the purpose for this project? What is the purpose for doing it this way, right? I'm sure a lot of you ask that question, especially if 
something's kind of going off the rails. Ask the bigger portion of if you are an entrepreneur, what is the purpose of that business? Because if you don't know what that purpose is and you don't know where you're going, how are you going to know when you're there? Perfect. Right? I mean, it, that is the ultimate direction. Yes. If you have a purpose for a company, you'll know the direction that the company needs to go. At all, that's your compass. That's mm-hmm. there is no question. If something is going not the way that you thought, you just look back at the purpose and say, "This is why we're here." Now we can just course correct. That is the easiest way to stay on course. And I'll mm-hmm. tell you, Joyce, it's the easiest thing for people to forget is why the company is there and why the team and the employees are doing what they're doing for their, for their clients. So yeah, it is Mm -hmm. is the number one thing that needs to happen um, for any business. So it's all about clarity also. And this is amazing to me because you did say something where you, you, you said, make sure you ask. So you know what the purpose is. And of course, we're not going to cover that today because I got the greatest questions for you. And what happens when someone asks, but there is no clarity because the leadership sucks. But so can someone's purpose change? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And the the reason, like you had said, sometimes people think purpose is this woo-woo thing. And, And that's unfortunate because some people have this idea that, this is the company's purpose and this is the way it is. And it's not just the company's purpose. It's also your purpose. You know, when people want to sit down and some people don't want to look into their purpose, they don't want to look that deep. As you go through different life experiences and situations and ages, I mean, yeah, your purpose could change. I mean, if you asked me at 18 years old, Mm -hmm. what my purpose was, it's definitely not as clear as it is right now. Because back then, you know, I I didn't own a house, I hadn't even gone through college yet. You know, my experiences were different than they are now. And my goals are different. So yeah, a person's purpose can absolutely change. And it can also affect your happiness factors. And so the Mm -hmm. more that you kind of change it just a little bitty bit to where it feels really aligned, with what you should be doing while you're here on this earth, that's what's really going to contribute to your success and happiness as a leader. So once you're aligned with your purpose and why you're here and why you're doing what you're doing, that also lends to more flexibility. So if you allow yourself your purpose to change, or if you're a company, you own a business and you allow that business to change, guess what? That's where innovation comes from. So if you look at Kodak as a great company to think about, right? Everybody knows those as the the camera people, right? Mm -hmm. They were so stuck in film. They're like, our purpose is to have film cameras and that's it. Well, guess who got left behind when everything went digital in cameras, right? Nobody knows really. I mean, (laughs) sorry, if there's some Kodak people out there, I'm sorry. No, it's a fact. (laughs) But Kodak's not the leading name right now in, in mm-hmm. digital cameras, right? They're not. No. And But they didn't see that their purpose could change. They could still have the over under, you know, the overlying purpose, mm-hmm. but the way that they did it and how they went about it and their goals could definitely change. I mean, that's how you have innovation in, in companies that have been around over a hundred years. As a leader, as things change with you or maybe the company you're in or the people that you're leading, don't be afraid to look at what your purpose is every year and say, is this still aligning with what I want out of life? It'll make a huge difference. I mean, you're making some great points. I'm going to push back for a minute, though. Sure. What yeah. happens? Oh, I know I can do it. I mean, my, my tough Christy. So what happens when there is no sense of purpose, because there's got to be people and organizations that they're not clear. So help us, a wise one on that one. <laughs> I'm sure anybody who's watching this video has probably be, been with a company or an organization that has no sense of purpose, right? And, and here are some telltale signs. If you're with a company that is strained from its purpose or isn't clear on its purpose, you're going to have a lot more turnover. You're going to have lack of employee engagement, right? These employees are going to be like, I don't even know what I'm doing here. I don't even think the company knows 
if you think about it, there's no sense of community. I mean, now you've got people in silos and employees are like, I don't even think the CEO knows what the purpose is. Mm -mm. And if the leaders, going back to the leaders, if the leaders don't have purpose for themselves and the leaders don't establish purpose for the organization or the company, how in the world are you going to ask your employees to follow a leader or a company like that. Mm -hmm. And then one more thing to add to that is when we're talking about there's no purpose, mental health is is really huge right now. Luckily, it's getting a lot more light. Um, It should have gotten a lot more light in the past. That's a different conversation. Mm -hmm. But right now, a lot lot more people are becoming more cognizant of mental health. And with that, for insight, for internal, when you have a sense of purpose, your mental health skyrocket. You are able to get over challenges better, obstacles. You're able to handle negativity better because you have direction, you have clarity, you have focus, and you have purpose. Now let's take that from an individual basis, mental health, right? Mm-hmm. You know, you have less depression, less anxiety, less stress, you know, those kind of things because you have a purpose. If you have a company that doesn't know its purpose, the health of that company is going to go down as well because everybody's going to be stressed and have anxiety because they don't know where the company is going. They don't know why the company is doing what it's doing. So yeah, that's exactly what happens when you don't have purpose in your leadership and in the company. Perfect. I mean, I just bought, I don't know if you or if the people who are watching this have heard of a thought leader, another thought leader like you, uh, Michael Hyatt. Oh, and he. Awesome. He does. Of course, you'd hear about him, Christy awesome. Stocker. Well, I just purchased his focus calendar mm-hmm. and he talks about having three main goals a day, your big three and talking about purpose and clarity in my 30 plus years as a speaker and now as a master coach, I have never had such clarity and purpose. Because every day, yeah, I have all my little tasks on another piece of paper, but the big three, I know exactly what I'm doing that day. And that has helped because all of us, especially with the online training that's going on and all these extra Zoom meetings and these courses that many of us um, are taking, by the way, people who who either read or watch and kick, kick conflict to the curb, they're all growth minded That's why I invited you. So thank you for this. Last one last question. How can leaders help their employees? If you're if you're a leader and you've got a team and you want to have them either connect better to their purpose or you just see that they're disengaged or something like that, Mm -hmm. as a leader, there's so many things you can do. You can understand what motivates them. You can sit them down and say, look, what motivates you? Some, it could be recognition, some it's money, some it's words of affirmation. If you talk about, you know, the five love languages, you can look at their personality. And this is so important. I've interviewed so many executives all around the country. And it's so important to be able to pair their strengths with what they're doing. And if they're great at numbers and you have them trying to do sales, good luck with that. (laughs) Good luck with that. You know, as a leader, it might be tough for you to move them into accounting or whatever it is, Mm -hmm. but it's better for the team. It's better for the company and it's going to be better for you as a leader. And then also as a leader, you should be expected to coach these people as well. That's part of the leadership is mentoring and coaching them and being honest with them about feedback. I mean, I just interviewed an executive a little while ago and she said, don't be afraid to give them feedback. So many people don't want to have, well, Joyce, you should know the crucial conversations, right? Those kind of things. For some reason, that employee just is not happy in their job. Let's say you did put a a numbers minded person in a sales Mm -hmm. people facing job and they're not happy. You might be doing them a favor in either shifting them to another job or just letting them go completely so they can find something that they are happier with. But as a leader, you got to have the guts to do that. And I am so, because I didn't know where you were going to be going with this question that I just asked you. And that is so important. And and you're right. I, I know a little bit about leaders who don't know 
how to deal with conflict, didn't have those crucial conversations. So when you said to have the guts to let them go, that's a gift. Obviously, letting people go isn't a good thing. It's, if it's, it's but if it's a good conversation and you're letting it with good intent and you've already had the conversations, they've tried sales, they've tried numbers, you know, they're really great. So why not help them get another job? So, I mean, it's different yeah. letting someone go because of productivity or attitude issues. We're not talking about that kind yeah, of employee. Right. First of all, I want to thank you. Where can people find you? Tell tell us how they can find you, how they can reach you. This is the time for you to let them know because you're, you've got so many great resources, Christy. If you, first of all, if you want to f- find me on social media, it's Christy Stalker. You know, I'm on Instagram, Twitter, you know, all the, the platforms. Um, but if you want to get a hold of me, if some of the stuff that I just said, talking about purpose and leadership and why it's so important, and if you're watching this and you're like, I kind of don't know what my purpose is and, you know, I'm kind of feeling this way. I don't have clarity and focus. That is exactly what I do. So Joyce, I'm offering everybody who's watching this, if they want to book a completely free one hour strategy session with me, they can absolutely do that. It's a free leadership strategy session. Um, I'll give you the link so you can share it with them. It's a special link. It goes right into my calendar. You can book it totally free. Let's talk about what do you want out of life? Where are you going? What are the challenges? What are the goals? Let's talk about it. And then at the end, you'll get some next steps on what you can do next to get that clarity and that focus and that roadmap that you want if you're trying to increase your your leadership skills. And then if you just want to find out more about me, you can go to christystocker.com. That's my website. And you can always drop me a line there too. Oh, yeah. And let me tell you, um, people who are watching, if you've got low energy on a day, you just go to Christy TV. Because Christy, you are a ball of energy. (laughs) You are so smart. And I'm not like going like this, that you're just, you know, sitting on a pedestal. (laughs) I just have to say, these are the facts. That's why I just said to myself years ago in Ann Arbor, Michigan, somehow this lady is going to get into my life because I just love your energy. Obviously it comes with enthusiasm your brain and your willingness to give and share and the idea that you're you're going to honor that one hour free phone call thank you you've been a wonderful guest i can't wait for our next visit and uh, thank you so much for coming well thanks joyce yeah we we are definitely kindred spirits when we met we were it was like sparks and like, okay, we don't know how we're going to collaborate, but somehow we're going to get together and this is going to be an awesome friendship. And I love the enthusiasm that you have for everything and you have energy too. And I think that's why we get along so great. Yes. We're all growth minded. Yes. This helps. Well, thank you very much. And everybody have a great week. And remember, this is Joyce and Christy saying You get what you tolerate. Was that fun or what? Joyce is amazing and her purpose is helping people with communication and conflict resolution. But how about you? Have you sat down lately and thought about your purpose and your passion? Have you thought about your company's purpose? Have you thought about how do you align in all of that? Well, if you're not sure, well, then let's talk. And if you do know your purpose, I want to hear about it. Let us know in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up and be sure to share it. And if you want to be a confident leader and take things to the next level, but you're not sure where to start, let's point you in the right direction. Schedule a 100% free leadership strategy session with me. We'll talk about your goals, your challenges, and your next steps so you can be the leader that you're meant to be. Just click the link in this section below to reserve your spot because there's no better time than right now to grow your leadership skills. And for more great videos to help you grow, well, check these out. And don't forget, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right now so you don't miss any of the weekly episodes. Thanks for tuning in to Christy TV and keep aligning with your purpose.